Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Talent Battle. This is a very exciting news for all the 2021 and 2022 batch students. Goldman Sachs have again launched their engineering campus hiring program. So uh, in this video, we are going to check in detail how you can apply, what is the eligibility criteria. They had organized a similar program last year in the last semester. And again, they are launching the same program in this semester. So just you can check once you click on the link given by me in the description of this video, uh, you will be uh, landing up on this page. So uh, let's check what are the details. So what is the eligibility? So they are hiring 2021 batch for a full-time role and 2022 batch for internship role. Okay. So as you can check 2021 analyst graduation in 2021 full-time hire. May or June, you will be undergoing the intake. That means if you are getting selected, then you will join be joining the company in May or June. And 2021 summer internship. So for this summer internship, your graduation should be in 2022. That means uh, they will be hiring as you an intern and you have to join in the month of April to July. Okay. So program type is internship and full-time. As we discussed, the city will be Bangalore. Deadline. So the applications have opened just yesterday on 20th January and it will close on 8th February. So you remember you have to apply before 8th Feb. Okay. Next. So uh, this is the overview. Uh, so basically the campus hiring program is the initiative by Goldman Sachs to identify and hire the top talent, uh, basically engineering talent across the engineering schools of the country. So as we have discussed, this is the uh, registration timeline. Okay, so when will be the assessment? After you register, you have to face an online assessment. The assessments will be in mid-February and mid-March. So in February and March, the assessments will be, interviews will be in the month of March and April. Okay, so now what is the eligibility? This program is open for all the engineering students of third year and final year from post-graduation and graduation. Okay. So B, B Tech, M, E, M Tech, 2021 batch and 2022 batch, all streams students are eligible. So uh, here we will ch also check the FAQ document. So here you can check what is the stipend or package. Uh, the details of the package or st stipend will be shared only to the shortlisted students. Okay. Uh, which branch and streams are eligible. So all branch streams are eligible. So you can check all are all engineering students eligible yes all engineering students are eligible to apply uh, for full time role 2021 batch and for internship role 2022 batch okay so uh, what will be the program structure so you have to apply there will be assessment round interview and the offer will be given to you so how do i register they have told uh, on this particular link you have to click on register and then they have given the step wise process of how you can register so this is the FAQ document. If you can find that FAQ document over here. Okay. So you can just click and you can check. So what if my college is not appearing? Many of the students face this doubt that my college is not appearing in the list. Then there is option others, which you can select. Okay. Uh, so while you applying, while applying, once you register and you have to apply basically, so you will see a lot of events over here. So from that, you need to select the engineer campus hiring program 2021 only so uh, make sure you do this okay so uh, once you complete the registration you will get an email okay towards your application once the registration window closes so basically after 8th february now if you register after 8th february you will be getting details about the further assessment okay now uh, what will be the assessment uh, consist of Previously, last to last year, Goldman Sachs used to conduct only coding and technical questions. But last year, they conducted aptitude questions also. Okay, so as you can check as a part of the program, you have to go through multiple assessment rounds. In the initial assessment rounds, there are some aptitude rounds and later on there is programming round also. So let us check what was the last year pattern. So basically, uh, this was the last year pattern as you can check on the screen. Yes. So this was the last year pattern. The total test was of one hour, 45 minutes. It had seven sections. The first section was numerical computations with eight questions, numerical reasoning with 12 questions. There was comprehension with 10 questions, abstract reasoning, 12 questions, diagrammatic reasoning, 12 questions, logical reasoning, 12 questions, and two subjective questions were there. One more important thing is that every question, the marks, you will get five marks for correct answer. And there was a negative marking of minus two. And the subjective question carried 10 marks. 
so this was the initial assessment now now what we are going to do is that uh, we will be uploading various preparation videos on our youtube channel for goldman sachs uh, we'll be uploading various questions which appeared in the last semester on our youtube channel so don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon for instant updates and preparation for goldman sachs so if you like the way we have shared this opportunity with you don't forget to subscribe to our channel also you can join our whatsapp group and telegram channel the links for all this is given in the description of this video thank you